Hi everybody, I'm Emily Batesel, and today I'm explaining to you about Tinder. So the definition in the book says the social and cultural characteristics that distinguish men and women in a society. So basically my definition of gender is boy or girl, men and women. How do we treat, treat them? Do we treat them by favoring them? Or do we treat them the same way? So I feel like we could be treating children by saying, oh, you shouldn't play with guns because you're a girl. Oh, you shouldn't play with dress up because you're a guy. And men shouldn't play volleyball. And girls shouldn't play um, football. Society now, you see more men and women playing different sports than you would think back then. And you wouldn't think they should be able to play. So I feel like gender can go two different ways. I feel like you can favor them by not letting them play certain things or you can let them do whatever they want. One video I did watch in one of my classes for Soch, Intro to Soch was from this TV show, What Would You Do? And it really helps show you how people can favor or can treat men and women differently. There are three people. They're all actors or famous people. Two of them were male, black and white. And the other one was a white woman. The white male, he um, was an actor, I believe. And all three of them were trying to steal a bike that was chained on to a sign. And um, they all got looked at questioned, but all got treated differently. The first white male, he had all these tools and everything, and he was trying to steal a bike, trying to make it look like he was, like he was, he basically was, um, hammering, trying to take the chain off so loud that it would make distraction. And there were several people that looked at him like, what's he doing? Why? And then they would just moved on. Didn't bother asking him. Then there is the white guy. The black guy. He... I forget what he was. But anyways, he, um... He was doing... He had the same tools and everything. And he had several people asking him if that was his bike. And he was like, no. Do you know whose bike it was? And like, no. Why are you stealing it then? And then he looked slain. And then, um, then he would be asked more. He gathered a big crowd of people. Everybody was like wondering why he's doing this and stuff. And one person actually said out loud, somebody call the cop. And somebody did. Now with the white male, they were wondering if they should, so then they waited a while. And then they almost did. People say they were going to, but nobody actually did. And then the last lead, the woman, she was white, gathered a crowd, I think. And then, um, she had a woman, like, what are you doing? And then she had guys, more than anything, wanting to help her. And with that, I feel like more guys are, since the guys are attracted to women, they are really wanting to help them with anything. Like, the guy helped her steal the bike, basically took the chain, well took the bike, lifted up, 
over the the sign with the chain still on, and she was like, "Well, I can't ride with chain on, so what am I supposed to do?" Anyways, I feel like guys treat girls differently sometimes, just because of that weird situation. I would say, but most of all, I feel like parents are the ones who treat their kids differently based on their gender. When I basically, I feel like parents will be like, don't want their children to expand the range of toys. In daycares, we want them to expand, expand their variety of what they can play with and let them wonder, like, ooh, what's this? Should I play with it or shouldn't I? For dress up. Parents don't let their boys play dress up because they think it's a girl's thing. And um, dress up allows them to explore the variety of people out there. Presidents, firefighters, police officers, doctors, nurses, a patient. Then you have girls. Parents who don't want the girls to get dirty. It's more their moms, but anyways. In my paper for last week, based on gender, I thought, I really thought it was, when I was reading about more and more about of it, that mothers are the big ones who don't want, who favor their children. They don't want the girls to get dirty, but then they'll let their favor the boys say, Oh, you can do this. Oh, you can do that. And, yeah. I, f I feel like we could do a little better and let, m try not to favor them by saying, by not be going out there in society now or in public and base and say, oh, you're a guy, and you're black, what are you doing, you trying to commit a crime? Majority of the people I feel like will treat black people, especially men, like they're thieves, because that's what people think, African Americans are thieves. And in the video, what would you do for the black guy? They basically thought he was a thief, which is really sad, because not all black people are thieves. Some white people are thieves. It's up to you to decide, I believe. I think we should treat everybody the same way, men, women, different color, different races. So. Yeah, I feel like gender is a big part of her society, and we should allow people to play whatever they want and treat them the same way. Treat women, men should treat women the same way we would treat other people, their wives. And it was really funny, and what would you do? The wife was threatening her, her husband, like, I was gonna, I'm calling the cops on you because you're helping her steal the bike. And he didn't care. He blanked her out. So I feel like gender can play a big part in the society. And we should try and change it basically by saying, or by doing, by doing um, different parts. We could, for children, we can let them play with, with whatever they want. And for grown-ups, <laughs> for adults, we can uh, treat them the same. Don't favor some people because of their color or their race. And don't blame people just because of their race and color. Thank you.